Hello friends, my name is Kevin Kutto and in this video I am going to teach you a extrude command which is one of the widely used and fundamental command in Creo 5.0. For the sake of saving time, I have already created a basic CAD model and I am going to explain this command and various options inside this. So what is extrude? Extrude is used to add or remove material in perpendicular direction to the sketch. Now it provides us option to add material as a solid body or as a surface or as a thickened part with certain amount of thickness to it. Now for solid body, it's mandatory to have a closed section. But for thickened or surface, we can use closed section or open sketch as well. Now sketch could be drawn outside or inside extrude feature command. Creo provides us both these options. So let's try out all these options together in this video. See this CAD model, I have prepared a sketch here which is outside. I have prepared this with the help of sketch. Okay. Then I have also got a axis here and one point which I need in order to explain this command better. Okay. So let's select this sketch and I'll go to the extrude. Please ignore this message. Okay. Uh, the moment I click this, automatically it has selected a extrude as solid. That means it is a solid body. Also, by default, it has selected a blind option with certain dimension associated with it. Now I can do a lot of things here. I can Go here and double click okay so with this I can definitely I can change the dimension so for example I want 300 so I can change it I can also hold this pointer here and drag it in whichever direction I want okay I can also use this arrow and if I click this it will change the direction of this uh, extrude I can do the same things from here as well. So you, you go here, I want 350. So you can see this is changed here. I can change it from here. Okay. Similarly, I can convert this into a material removal extrude. So if I choose this option here, you can see it is removing the material. So this option is called remove material option now i can convert this into a surface as well so the moment i click it it gives me a surface you can see here it, it is giving me a surface now this surface has open ends what if i want closed end so i can go here in option and you see here capped ends the moment you click the capped ends it is going to close this open ends but inside it is hollow it is surface okay so I don't want it and I don't want this to be surface. I want this to be a solid. Okay. What if I want to thicken it? The moment I use the thicken, you can see here thickness is added. I want a 5 mm thickness and the moment I uh, click the 5 mm thickness, it increases. Now you can see here sketch is here and it is adding material outside. But what happens if I click the direction? The moment I click the direction, it brings my sketch. To the center and it will add material equally in both the directions similarly if i click it again it will add material inside okay so you can change the direction of adding the material but i don't want thicken so i click thicken again and it will convert it into solid body now hopefully you understand this now let's see what are the various options inside this the first option obviously is blind and you see here there are two directions side one and side two. So side one direction is in the direction of arrow and side two is in opposite direction of arrow. Okay. So if I go to the next option, it is symmetry. It is taking the same length which was 350 earlier, but it is distributing equally in both the directions. So that's what symmetry do. And because it is symmetry and it is adding material in both the direction, automatically side 2 is deactivated and it makes sense, right? The third option is to next. The moment I click that, the extrude ends to the next surface it gets. Now, it's very important to understand 
that in order to use this my sketch has to entirely overlap the surface if it is partially overlapping it will not add the material into that direction of course it can cut the material but it won't add the material so it's mandatory that in order to use two necks sketch should be overlapping entirely 100 percent to the neck surface if i click this arrow it will do the same thing in opposite direction but i don't want to use this i want to go to through all now what through all does is it goes to the last surface of the feature okay and it's very important to understand that again this sketch has to be overlapping with that last feature okay if i click this arrow it will do the same thing in opposite direction next command is through until the moment i click this command it is asking me to select a surface so i want this surface to be selected and the moment i click it it will add material into this surface direction now does it allow me to select a uh, axis or plane or point no we have to select only surface and that surface also has to 100 percent overlap with the sketch in order to add material if you want to remove the material it will definitely remove the material even though it is partially overlapping okay last option is to select it now the moment you select the option you find the similar interface so it is not changing anything so you might be wondering what is the difference between through until and to selected because it is showing the same interface okay so instead of that i can go right click remove this and i can choose this surface as well the only difference is along with surface you can also use axis okay along with axis you can also use point along with the point you can also use edge okay so it allows you various option to select in through until we had to select only surface but in to selected it allowed us to choose surface axis point or edge or obviously plane okay so there are a lot of options and another important thing is this cage even though it is not overlapping with this still we can extrude the surface or extrude the sketch up to all these selected references now let's see what happens okay if the sketch is half overlapping so i want to draw a sketch here but i will draw that as a overlapping geometry so i choose this one and i go to the sketch i go to sketch view which will bring it parallel to my screen and this time i draw the sketch which is half overlapping okay you can see here it is half overlapping on both the sides okay the moment i click it okay blind option by default it will add material so there is no issues but the moment you click to next it will fail you see here what is the problem because it doesn't understand the overlapping geometry similarly if you do through all still it will fail okay and to until if i select this surface still it is failing so that means in order to use two necks through all and through until and add material into that direction we need to have 100 percent overlapping surface okay now what happens if i cut the material it is cutting the material you can see here it is the cutting uh, it is cutting the material so there is no problem with the cutting material okay but what happens if i select two selected so let's see i go to this edge still it is cutting i don't want cutting i want material adding so still it is adding i select the surface it is not overlapping but still it is adding the material so these are all options inside the extrude command there is another option which is add taper okay so i don't want it uh, to go to here i want it to be selected here and what add taper does is suppose i want five degree and you can see here it adds material if i want in other direction i can just go here and type negative okay so the moment i click negative and click okay it will add a uh, taper in other direction okay. i want three degree so you can it will convert into three degrees so this draft 
uh, is it's like a providing draft but obviously it is not the best practice as per cad standards generally you should provide drafts on the features at the end of the model tree okay uh, it makes it easier to modify the things but if it is a surface then definitely you should add draft outside extrude but uh, before shell command okay so these are some of the best practices which you should follow i hope you understand this extrude command very well now and you can use it uh, in your designs thank you so much for watching this video and please do subscribe to my youtube channel in order to get more and more videos on clio 5.0 and other design topics 